everyone, my name is Clara Ryan. I'm the coordinator of the Midwest Invasive Plant Network and the Woody Invasives of the Great Lakes Collaborative. Today I'm here to talk to you about this tree right here. It's called Tree of Heaven, or the scientific name is Ailanthus altissima. As you can probably see, this tree is part of a maintained landscape here at a park. Ailanthus is from eastern China in its native range, and it has a very long history, both in China and here in North America, as an ornamental tree. One of the reasons this tree became popular on the landscape is that it grows incredibly fast. It also can deal with a lot of really tough conditions that other trees can't manage. For example, really poor soil without a lot of nutrients, very compacted soil, and most types of air pollution are no problem at all for Tree of Heaven. On the flip side of the coin for Tree of Heaven, some of the characteristics that have made it desirable on the landscape also lead it to be very invasive. For example, that fast growth I just talked about. Some of the other issues with it is that it produces an incredible amount of seed. A mature female tree can produce up to 10 million seeds in its lifetime, and comparatively to other trees, that's a lot. The other thing that we see with Tree of Heaven is that it reproduces through what are called root suckers. So the roots of this tree are growing out in every direction from where it stands right here. And they can actually poke up several feet away from the original tree. So let's figure out how to identify it. The first thing I wanted to show you is the bark of this tree. Some people describe it as looking a little bit like a cantaloupe melon. I guess I can see it. It has these irregular kind of light patches and a dark gray kind of background there. So how I identify this tree and how I would suggest most people identify it are from the leaves. So let's go take a look at one of those suckers and I'll be able to show you the leaves. <clears throat> So here we are next to what is either a seedling or a sucker of Tree of Heaven. I can't tell which it is without digging it up, but uh, I'm willing to bet that this guy is connected by the roots to a bigger one off in the distance somewhere. So this gives us an opportunity to take a close look at the leaves. So this right here, from here to here, this is a whole leaf of Tree of Heaven. It's what's called a pinnately compound leaf which another way of looking at that is it's kind of like a feather. Some people describe the leaves as kind of looking like palm fronds as well. Um, the leaves are alternate each other on the stem. So they kind of zigzag, one on this side, one on this side, one on this side. The leaflets, they are smooth along the edges. That's a, a really good way to identify Tree of Heaven. The leaflets do have uh, small teeth at the base here, they're called glandular teeth, and if you, it, they're really hard to see, but if you feel on the tips of these little teeth, they have these tiny little bumps, and those are the glands. Other aspects of Tree of Heaven uh, are its flowering and fruiting. So, Tree of Heaven is dioecious, which means that female and male flowers happen on different trees, but they look kind of similar. You s tend to see them in the spring or early summer, and the flowers are yellow-green panicles, or kind of big clusters that uh, you can see usually above the foliage. On the female trees, the flowers will eventually give way to fruits, and these are the mature and dried fruits of Tree of Heaven. Another concern we have increasingly with Tree of Heaven is its role as a host for a forest pest called the spotted lantern fly. It isn't in the Midwest yet, but we're very concerned that it could be coming. Hi, my name is Trisha Bethke and I'm the Forest Pest Outreach Coordinator for the State of Illinois. My position is funded through a cooperative agreement with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Animal Plant Health Inspection Service, and the Morton Arboretum. And today we want to talk a little bit about Tree of Heaven. While we know Tree of Heaven is invasive, there's also another invasive pest, a federally regulated pest called Spotted Lanternfly, which is established in Pennsylvania and now New Jersey, Delaware, and Virginia. We know we have a lot of Tree of Heaven, which means that the spotted lanternfly, if it were to get established in Illinois, it would become a true risk. The spotted lanternfly is not a fly, it's actually a leaf hopper, and so what it does is when they go and they lay their egg masses, and then those egg masses come out and it starts to complete its life cycle, it feeds on Tree of Heaven, but then it potentially can hop or move to other trees, like our maple trees, our hackberries, our sumac, our walnut. This pest is a generalist. 
it goes after our grapes, it goes after stone fruits, but it doesn't go after the grape itself. It doesn't go after the apple itself. It goes after the vines. And so you start to lose those vines, that economic, that agricultural impact is highly significant. What we'd like to do is make sure that people are well aware of what Tree of Heaven looks like. They want, we want you to know what Spotted Lanternfly looks like. And if you do see something that looks like Spotted Lanternfly, we would like you to report it at lanternfly at illinois.edu. All you need to do is take a photo, send an email, and we will follow up with you.